q equals p plus 1 over p minus 1. We asked to make p the subject formula. Now, to begin with, you can do cross multiplication or you can also use LCM, but cross multiplication will work faster here. Okay, so when you cross multiply, you're going to have q equals p minus 1 equals p plus 1. All right, now let's simplify. I'm going to have qp minus q equals p plus 1. Remember, we asked to make the p the subject formula. All right, so to begin with, you collect like terms. The one that have p in common will come together. And to do that, this p will cross over the positive sign. I change negative p. And this minus q cross over. I change to positive q. So we're going to have qp minus p equals 1 plus q. Now, when you factorize qp minus p, I'm going to have p in bracket q minus 1 equals 1 plus q. And to make p the subject formula, by both side by q minus 1, q minus 1. Therefore, our p, this will cancel this, will be 1 plus q over q minus 1. All right, now looking at this, to make it look organized, though this expression is correct, but to make it look organized, position the letter in the same direction and position the number in the same direction. So this is the same thing as Q plus 1 over Q minus 1. It's now looking more organized. The Q is at one side and the number term is as one side face each other. So that will be the answer to this question.